Hello, I'm that James guy, and this is my Segway 9 Bot G30P scooter that has been broken for about two and a half months now. I'll demonstrate from my previous video right now what this thing is doing. Let's put it in sport mode, and I'll just lift the back up with my foot, and I will floor it. Oh, do you hear that sound? I contacted Segway. The reason I bought this brand is so that I could get an American-made scooter with good customer support, and so far, it has been terrible, awful. They would go weeks on end without even emailing back, and I'd type back, hello, and to the point where I even opened a warranty ticket with my credit card company to see if I could maybe just get my money back that way. That didn't work. Uh, finally, um, I convinced them that I did not want to ship this thing for $200 away to a repair center, that I am a certified EV mechanic. I actually am, and I could probably fix it myself. And so they put me in contact with someone and then we were texting back and forth. So someone at Segway, as soon as, like, as, soon as that happened, we were good to go, okay? You know, taking pictures of this and that, uh, multimeter here and there, and they're like, okay, we're sending you a motor. And so I have a motor. We'll get this thing on the bench and then we will put the new motor in and see if it's, it's fixed. All right, first the big reveal. Let's, uh, let's, let's see this motor. Let's see if it's right. Ooh, new hardware. Okay. Ooh, I think it's looking good. Yes, this does seem to be the right one. Let's get this thing switched out. Okay, now that we got it apart, there's only a couple things you gotta do here. So there is the reflectors on the side, which I already removed, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, in order to get at the screws that hold the reflectors on, you actually have to peel the reflectors off and unfortunately the new motor did not come with any. We will just remove this. And then there's a few connectors. So you can see here that we've got our three motor connections. This is one of the things they got me to check to make sure they were all nice and clean and not burned, which you can see they are. And then the other one is this wire here goes into the controller and it's a little bit finicky. It's a really small connection. All you need is something really pokey like an O-ring pick and you kind of basically unlatch the connector while you hold it with your other finger. And it's a bit tricky. There we go. What I ended up doing was curling it around so I could actually pull the wire out with my thumb. I guess that was the hard part. So then all you do is you just kind of fish this all out of here, kind of work it out. There's a little hole this goes through, and a wiggle and jiggle, and there's our old motor. Okay, the new one, just fish it in the same spot. Everything's color-coded. It shouldn't be too difficult to figure out, I think, I hope. Okay, that just drops in like that. This seal can get pushed in right here. This is just a waterproof seal. Hard part, probably getting this little connector back in. Right here, just use something pokey on it to kind of get it into place. Slow with patience. Oh, I heard a click. Okay, pliers for the win. And then we just plug these in. Color coded and everything. That one, that one, that one. This thing will not work with this cover off, with this bottom cover off. So I can't even test it until it's all back together. Put our new hardware on. Cover, you know how long it took me to find these screws that hold this cover back on? It's been like two months. Two months, maybe more. Okay, now just these reflectors. Should be easy, famous last words. Okay, 
the crazy thing is this motor did not come with these reflectors. These actually came with the bike when it was new. So maybe Segway knew that we would have a motor problem. That just goes there like that. Look at that. Reflector. Perfect. Okay, where are the fine people at Segway correct? I think it's good. It's showing 30 kilometers per hour and it's really quiet. Uh, I think it's time for a rip. Let's go for a rip. Oh, headlight. There we go, headlight, that's super important. Here we go. Woo! It is fixed. I hope you found this useful or at least mildly entertaining. I will see you next time.